Hello, welcome to this uh, new video where we are going to discuss the differences between the US and the UK pronunciation. Okay, this is a very interesting topic that uh, a lot of students like to know about. So we are going to talk about the main differences in this video. Okay, well, first of all, one of the most important differences is the pronunciation of the R, of the R at the end of the syllables. Okay, so uh, as a general rule, uh, except certain regionalisms, you know, in the US, at the end of the syllable, we pronounce the R, okay, like far, far. And in the UK, the same R is silent, far, far. Okay, so this is a very important differences, okay? And we uh, find uh, this, obviously, in syllables which contain an R at the end, like hair in the US or hair, hair in the UK, fear, 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 north, 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 cure with this uh, diphthong, cure, 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 nurse, nurse, clearly with an R in the UK pronunciation, and nurse, nurse in England, okay? And the schwa at the end, also center, center in the U.S. and center, center in the U.K., okay? And the trip songs like fire, fire in the U.S. and fire, fire in the U.K. Or hour and hour, hour in the U.K., okay? So just drop uh, the R, okay? As... My advice to you, as you learn English, is to use the, in this case, the American pronunciation. Because for you, it's, it's difficult at the beginning to see an R and not have to pronounce it. So, you know, and, and that's a little, uh, a little strange. So I would just go ahead and pronounce the R unless you are really familiar with, uh, with the UK pronunciation. And then you're welcome to use... Uh, far, you know, the, the dropping of, of the R, no problem, okay? But I think at the beginning it's easier for the Spanish uh, student to uh, to pronounce this R at the end of the syllable, okay? Another difference, uh, the, uh, the pronunciation of the T, a very uh, key difference between American and British English. Okay, in the in the U.S., the T in unstressed syllables, okay, like activity, activity, is articulated with a flapping of the tongue. You know, it's it's actually it's very similar to the Spanish ere ere ere, like pero pero cara raro. That's basically the same. Okay, so as you can see in the phonetic transcription here, we have. Uh, Put down like an R, so it's activity, activity. Okay, that's how they say it in America. And in the UK, it's activity, activity, clearly pronouncing the T. Or but butter, butter in the US, butter, or butter, butter in, in, in the UK. Pity, pity, pena, pity, pity. It's a pity. Okay, Adam, Adam, or atom. Atom. Okay, and in this case, in this case, I recommend the UK, the UK pronunciation, and it's, it's, it's basically a, a similar reason. You know, it's very difficult to to see a T and having to pronounce something different that is not a T. Okay, then if you're familiar with the American pronunciation, eventually, well, you know, then you're welcome to pronounce activity, activity, but. At the beginning, it's easier, you know, to do activity, okay, and pronounce the full T, okay? Okay, another pronunciation issue is the diphthong O, O, which in the U.S. is clearly an O, and in the U.K. is like uh, a, a diphthong composed of the U and the schwa, uh, uh. So it's, in America, it's coat, and in the Great Britain is kelt, kelt, or home, home, those, 
theirs toast toast. Okay, so in this case, I recommend the American pronunciation for the same reasons because it's very difficult to have to pronounce something that is obviously O and then have it to do something different. So, unless you're familiar with the UK pronunciation, I recommend to use O, which is very simple and very similar to Spanish. Okay? Toast, toast, toast. Okay, the long O also is a key difference, uh, especially after consonants N, D, and T, where they pronounce like yeah, like yeah, like in, in the UK they say new, and in uh, the United States they usually say new, new, although a lot of people say new too, okay? So this is uh, actually this uh, difference. A lot of people in the, in the United States use the UK pronunciation as well, but it's, it's very typical in the United States to say new or do, or tune, or duty, duty, or duty, okay? So in this case, I recommend the UK pronunciation. It's more popular and it's probably more familiar to you to say new, or do, or tune, or duty, okay? And this only affects consonants like N, T, and T. Be careful with this, this sound, okay? Now we're going to take a look at some different spellings in the UK and the US, okay? And here we have a lot of differences, okay? But we're going to see like probably the most popular ones, okay? In the US, sometimes, you know, the E is dropped in some spellings like acknowledgement or aging, you know, this gerund, you know, where the E is dropped in the US or the I is changed for an E like artifact or catalog, sometimes, you know, in, in the United States, you know, you have these two spellings, and in the UK, only this uh, G-U-E spelling. Check, check, which is uh, uh, cheque, you know, but also to check, comprobar, consultar, in, in, in the UK, check with C-H-E-C-K is the verb, and with the Q-U-E is uh, the check you know, where you write uh, to get money from the bank. Okay, then uh, the S changes to a C in England. The draft, this is an important difference. Draft in, in England is draft, draft, with a different spelling and different pronunciation with an open A, okay? And a draft would be a drawing. Okay, judgment, also dropping the E, mold, Okay, uh, <clears throat> offense, you know, the C for the E, practice, program, also uh, with uh, a plan with double M, E, uh, skeptic, you know, you have the K for a C, omelette with double T and E in England, and all this group of T, uh, uh, I mean, E, R, which is R, E in England, theater, you see the spelling here, R, E, R, E, R, E. N E R E R E R uh, meter, except meter, which as a measuring device, you know, like a parking meter, is spelled the same way in the United States and the UK. Also, color, color is O U R in the UK and only an O in England. Honor, then realize, realize, finalize, analyze, emph emphasize, have a different in in the UK or the United States just take a look I attach I attach uh, the same document in the email if you, if you don't have uh, this uh, document you can post uh, you can post your email in uh, or you can send me an email and I will send it to you okay or organize recognize okay the S in England and the Z the Z the Z in the United States okay now, we've seen some different spellings. Now, let's take a look at some uh, words which have a different pronunciation, okay, different pronunciation. For example, in the US, we say advertisement, advertisement, and in the UK, they say advertisement, advertisement, okay? Uh, in the US, they, they say corollary, and then in the, in the 
UK, they say corollary, corollary, okay? Donate and donate. <clears throat> yes, uh, you know, uh, shifting the accent uh, in the syllable or laboratory and laboratory, laboratory, that's in the UK, okay? Uh, you can pick the one that you like the most or it's easier for you, it doesn't matter. You say laboratory or laboratory. You know, it's just, you know, they will understand when you say one or the other. Uh, vaccine in the UK and vaccine in the, U in the UK and vaccine in the US. This is an important one. Again, 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 and in the US, again, again, which uh, you might have heard sometimes in the UK, okay? Margarine or margarine, 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 and garage, garage in the, in the US, always the accent on the last syllable, and in the UK, in the first syllable, okay? Uh, garage or garage. Some people say garage or garage. Okay, so uh, basically, however you say it, you're going to be okay. And then uh, clerk, empleado, dependiente, clerk, uh, which in the UK they pronounce clock, clock. Okay, the, the, this e, e spelling changes to an a pronunciation. Okay, then thorough, thorough. Thorough, which is thorough, thorough, with you know the e and changes to a uh, in 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 the UK, and the same thing with worry. Don't worry, worry, uh, which in in the UK they say worry, worry. Although some people in the United States also say worry. Okay, but you have uh, there are some words actually that have this issue with worry or worry. Okay like curry, you know, the spice, uh, uh, curry or curry, you know, uh, in your chicken. All right. And finally, let's take a look at another difference, which is the collective nouns, okay? Collective nouns are plural in the UK and singular in the US, okay? So in the UK, they say the London police are investigating, whereas in the US, they say the New York police is investigating, or the armada are landing, or the armada is landing, okay? Collective nouns. The committee have decided, or uh, the committee has has decided, okay? The committee has, has decided in the U.S., okay? So collective nouns in the U.S. are singular and, plu and plural in, in the U.K., okay? So basically... However you say, you're going to be okay. But uh, it's good to know, okay? It's good to know there's one way in the U.S. and a different way in uh, in the United States. Okay, wonderful. So I think uh, this is all for today. Uh, I hope that you have learned a lot with this video. You have enjoyed this uh, interesting information about the different uh, pronunciations and spellings in the, U in the U.K. and the U.S., and thanks very much for watching this video and I'll see you soon.